Hello fellow Aptera reservation holders and those of you who are just Aptera curious. If you choose to make a reservation, please consider using my link below to save $30 on your reservation. In this video, I'm going to recap the first week of Aptera's Accelerator program, which is their creative attempt to raise the funds to start production. For those who are not familiar with this program, you have to invest a minimum of $10,000 between January 27th and March 26th to join the Accelerator program. They're hoping to get 2,000 people to raise at least $20 million to help them reach the $50 million they claim will allow them to start large-scale production. If you join the program, you'll be one of the first 2,000 to receive your vehicle based on your total investment in Aptera. So the first thing I was interested in seeing was if this program brought in new investors or if they would be made up of past investors. As of the first week, they have a total of 149 investors. The Accelerator program brought in 45 new investors and 30% of the total investors in the Accelerator program. Most of the new investors invested about $10,500, just above the minimum required. The highest single investment came from a new investor with $136,500. They are currently in fifth place of all the investors. That leaves 70% or 104 repeat investors. It's great to see that early investors are able and willing to contribute more. This will ensure that some of the strongest supporters of Aptera will be part of the first to receive their vehicles. The largest single investor on the leaderboard has invested over a million dollars prior to this campaign. Next, I wanted to look at the number of investors gained per day. Usually for these types of campaigns, there's a, they have a big surge early on, and then taper in the middle, and then a surge near the end. The steep drop-off pattern in the first week is a little concerning. I would have thought the first week would be a bit more level, but many potential investors might not have had the $10,000 of liquid assets to invest on short notice. So it will be interesting to see how this pattern changes in the coming weeks. A total of 149 investors in the first week is not very encouraging, but it seems that they're still processing some of the investments out of order and adding people to early dates. So I expect these numbers to increase a bit. You can see a clear indication of this by looking at the third place position in this screenshot. I took a screenshot of the February 2nd um, tally on at 7.48 a.m. and you can see the large donor K.A. was in third place and his donation was made on January 30th. But later in the day I took another screenshot of the 7.48 p.m. update and you can see that P.G. is now in third place with a large $60,900 donation but it says their investment was made on January 27th which is three days earlier than KA's investment, but it wasn't added to the spreadsheet until later. Now let's look at the mean average investment made per person each day. I might brush up on my Excel skills and look at the median and mode of the investments, but I'm a lawyer by day, so I don't work with numbers regularly. I'll have to wake up some of my lesser used brain cells. Let me know if you are all interested in these types of figures. I love this graph, which looks like it's giving the middle finger to the rest of the car industry and the doubters. We have that huge spike in the middle because we had fewer investors on the 30th, but that is when the single investment of 136,000 plus was made. If we correct for that, you can see the new investments are averaging around $11,000. On the end is the average for the whole week, and we can see that gets up to about 12,300. If that average continues and they get all 2,000 investors, this accelerator campaign will raise about $24,700,000. I also did a quick pie chart of the amount that was raised each day and it tracked pretty closely to the number of people who donated each day. We have a huge spike on day one with about 43% of the investments made that day. The next three days make up about 45% of the investments and the last three days rounding out the last 12 percent. This final graph I made to show the daily investments 
as the blue bars and the total raised as the orange line. I will add more green to the next set of graphs for Aptera. The rate of growth looks pretty good for the first week. If the investments continued on a linear pa pattern for the rest of the campaign, they would raise about 80% of their gold, but that is unlikely to happen. Most of these crowdfunding campaigns see a huge spike in the beginning, as I said, and then taper off in the middle, and hopefully we'll get a surge of people donating in, at the end to kind of increase their spot on the reservation list. I'm excited to see how this accelerator program shakes out and obviously want to see Aptera succeed as a reservation holder. Let me know what numbers you're interested in seeing in the comments and I'll plan to do a weekly update for the rest of the campaign if you're all interested, so hit the like button. You can also leave me comments on Reddit in the Aptera Motors forum. My handle is Evolve Electric. I also joined the Aptera Owners Club Discord. My handle there is Purple Griffin for my Xbox Gamer Tag. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.